Hey YouTube, this is Andrea here, and we are back to work on our front cover. And I have already gone ahead and put on the gold mat that we that I showed you in the last video, and then the matting for the back and the front. I have made some die cuts and I used some stickles. Or, it's not really stickles, it's, um, I got these in a haul, in one of my hauls, and it's, it's like stickles, and I put it on the vines and leaves here, so, I think they turned out really pretty, and then I made some flowers from the roll-up that I showed you guys before, and then I have some um, bronze corners that I want to put on. So let's get started doing that. Let's see. We'll start with the corners because they're going to take the longest to uh, dry because it's metal to paper. It won't take it forever, but about time we're done decorating the um, album cover it will be dry okay I love these little corners they are so pretty and I did do a haul on these, so check out my um, eBay embellishment and die haul, and you'll see all of the different embellishments I got for dirt cheap. And they're all bronze, and I think I kept saying brass <laughs> in the in the video, but they're not brass; they're bronze. <laughs> And already, this, these corners are giving the front cover even more personality. Pretty, pretty. Okay. I use the Eileen's Quick Dry Glue for my metal embellishments. You can use hot glue, um, whatever type of glue you want. I just find that when this one dries, the glue basically disappears. Whereas with hot glue, you have, um, it still shows through the different filigree parts. I don't like that, so let's turn this this way. So depending on your embellishment, if it has a lot of filigree parts in it, you might want to stay away from the hot glue because it'll squeeze right up through there and you don't want that. Pretty, pretty. Now I have my flowers, <clears throat> but first I'm going to put on my vines. These two vines. Then I'm going to put on the flowers, and then I'm going to slip this one in. I used my Xyron to make them into stickers and this red or pink glitter rose is what I'm going to go around. Like that. Perfect. 
how you can glue your um, die cuts down as well. Um, it really doesn't matter if you're using the Xyron or if you're using glue on this particular part. Um, whatever you have it on hand is all that you need. Sure, every little leaf is nice and down. Looks good. Okay. So I want, I think I want that one there. one's going to come in from this side. Alright, so we'll do it that way. It's good to play around with it uh, before you actually glue them down. came with it. Okay. See if I can get this vine in there. Get it to do what I want it to do here. A little bit of glue so I can slide this stick in. Voila. I love it, love it. Press these down. Get a little bit of 3D effect. Not a lot because really your uh, roses have the most 3D effect. And that's, that's what you want. I love how that front cover turned out. Now I'm going to show you the tags that we made and remember uh, each page had a pocket on the top so the tags that I made are all the same size and I put a bronze embellishment here with a pearl and these tags are five and a quarter by five and a quarter so that they're all the same and you don't have to worry about Oh, this needs to be this long, this needs... No, nope, they're all the same. And they just slide right down into the pockets. And each is covered with a different mat. And they just pull out with the pull tabs that I've created. Which is really nice when you can pull it right out. <laughs> that one and I let these glue I glued them and let them dry overnight before I put them in the book and you're going to want to do the same thing because you don't want them to accidentally glue inside of the pocket And then 
second to the last one. And the last one. So you get a total of six of the tags and 12 photo mats if you count both the front and the back. And you'll be able to do that with your with your own as well. These were the last two pages we did, which I think turned out really nice. And a lot of them have embellishments on them now, like this one has the round circles, and that was to tie in these circles. This has a long embellishment here, bronze embellishment here. These actually have two corner embellishments, um, but they're kind of dark. <laughs> the paper's so dark it matched the corners, but I'm not going to take them off. I think they turn out, they're still pretty. And then I have these embellishments here, this one on this pocket, and then none here and here. I think there's, yeah, there's four corners on this one. And then there's two on the outside of this one. So that turned out really cute. Close that that way. And of course, you remember these embellishments. We've got the corners there and this corner here on this little uh, pocket. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series of the seven and the quarter by five and the quarter. Um, this album is going to go for sale on Etsy and I'm selling it for $39.99 plus shipping. If you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to ask. I'll be glad to uh, answer them for you. Have a great one. Bye.